This is my dad. He's 68 years old and has 40 plus years of woodworking experience. And this is my nephew, Blake. He's... 13. 13 years old and has zero woodworking experience. Today, we'll be locking both of these gentlemen in a room to see if CNC can be taught in a single day. Let's get right into it. So do you Gramps accept the challenge of teaching Blake CNC in less than 12 hours? Sure. Blake, do you think you can learn CNC in less than a day and cut out your very own project? Yep. Gramps, what do you think is going to be the hard part on teaching Blake? Him listening to me. <laughs> he's he's going to do good. I think he'll do good. Blake, what do you think? You're going to have any challenges? Unclear instructions. Unclear instructions. Okay. All right. So how much do you know about CNCs? Uh, not much. So this is kind of completely foreign to you. Yeah. Right. This is a little bit intimidating for you? Yeah. All right, Gramps, Blake, good luck. Blake doesn't know it yet, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna give him a test, and if he passes the test, I'm gonna give him a $100 bill. He doesn't know what the test is yet, Gramps doesn't know, so it's really gonna be how much did he learn from Gramps today. This is gonna be awesome. Hi, <laughs> I'm Gramps. This is my grandson, Blake. He's 13. I'm trying to teach him how to run, use a CNC to build stuff instead of using Minecraft to build stuff. Bruh. And today, he'd like to have a domino box. Do you know anything about wood? <laughs> what species, what kind? Not really, no. They always tell me names, I don't really remember them. I wasn't actually told what I would be doing until a few minutes prior to filming, but I'm actually glad it's a domino back box because I've been wanting to play dominoes a lot recently. I've chosen this one out of these four or five options, but out of all of these, I've chosen this one just because I like the way it looks. What, 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 what would you guess what kind of wood it is? You to guess. Walnut, maple, redwood. You got walnut, you have maple, you have cherry. Close enough. I'll, I'll take that as a win. Next thing, what colors do you want where? Oh, I didn't know I, get, I got to decide that. You can put it where you have the maple to the outside, then the cherry, then the walnut. Yeah, I like that one, but I'd prefer having walnut be like the last one or the second to last one, kind of like this box. So just Basically, you can set your box on there too and say, okay, do I want it like that, 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 or that? <clears throat> Probably just like this. Have okay. a little bit of maple showing. Don't we need to make sure it's thick enough? Good point. He wants to make sure it's thick enough. Oh, this is only three quarters. It may not be thick enough. How thick is that one? Oh, this piece. You're watching me struggle. This is not funny. I'm seeing if you know how to read a tape. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. So, how big? I don't know the specifics. That's your job. This one is almost 13 sixteenths which is a little bit thicker than this one, or you know, you could lay them down side by side, say, okay, that's a little bit thicker. Okay, have a seat, Blake. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pocket out the bottom, and then we're gonna pocket out the top. Safe to remove, take it out. So we're gonna mark it 12 here, and then mark it where the, this is in the middle. Like on this box here, you know, this is the middle. If we went too far this way, we'd have more on this side and less on this side. So we have to go in the middle to make sure we get the same distance on, over here. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little bit of maple, then uh, cherry, walnut, maple, cherry, and then walnut will probably be, it'll probably come out to right about here. Okay, what we need to do is lock it down. Okay, don't tighten it all the way down yet till you get all these other ones on. All right, since we got a little bit in Center there, it. let's go ahead and, and put our home on there. Ryan showed me if you want it to go slow down, you can go here and see it'll slow it down. More to the right. 
Blake. I'm trying to. No, no, no. You go like this then. Yeah. That's going down. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. What you do on this one is X zero, tap it, Y zero, and then Z, we're not doing Z yet. Yeah. Ryan uses where he goes to the wood and checks it. I always use the paper method. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing here. Um, Let's go here to load files. We just basically push the button that says start job. Go cut it out on the chop saw. When he goes to Home Depot, the employees ask him for help. His shop doesn't stock material. Wood volunteers. He once engraved toilet paper without any tear out. He is the most interesting CNC man in the world. I don't always buy exotic panels made from Paduke, Purple Heart, Wingay, and Yellow Heart, but when I do, they're from CIC Workshop. Stay cutting, my friends. Got a little bit better than what it was. In fact, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I know at the beginning of the video I said the walnut would be good on the front. I'm actually going to say that's going to be the back. Put the hinges on the back, <laughs> that other one in the front. Yep, back right here. Okay. Okay. Now, how do we know that's your box? You need my name on it. Doesn't have it yet, so let's go put your name on that box. Oh, much better in here, it's air conditioned. Okay, Blake, go to the 2D view. I like to use Arial Round It. I wanted to find a font that I liked. Okay, find the font that you like. Start job. So how did he do? Nice, nice. I see the classic domino box. Gramps, how did he do, in your opinion? He did pretty good. He, he knew a little bit more than I thought. Blake, how confident are you that you could run and make this project by yourself? Do you think you can? Yeah. Gramps, so out of scale of one to 10, how confident are you that you can do an engraving? See, it's easier than just one, making one, the box. One through 10. Seven. Eight. Gramps, you're a seven? I'm at seven, he's at eight. Okay, so here's what we got for Blake. So I have a hundred dollar bill right here. And you're listening? <laughs> got your attention now. <laughs> so the official rules of the challenge, Blake can win this hundred dollar bill if he can engrave the date he made this box right here on this piece of walnut on the back. So if Gramps taught him good enough and he can do it, he will win the full hundred dollars. But he has to do it a hundred percent himself and can only ask us one question. For each following question, he will lose twenty dollars of his hundred dollar bill. 
You think you can do it? Yeah. This is so realistic because every time we run our CNCs, we break something and it costs us 20 bucks or 100 bucks. Well, so, uh, so we're going to curve the rule a little bit. Rule curve because yeah. Blake likes it better if it's on both pieces, not just the one because he's worried about it being readable. Blake changed the rules a little bit. Typical 13 year old. So what does flat depth mean, Blake? What the very bottom part of it is going to be. Right, so your flat depth is how deep the scene, the V bit's gonna go, right? So what's the other depth that's on there right now? What it starts at. Where do you want it to start at? Okay. The top of it. But you want it to start right off at the top. Well, your start depth is in at zero, not at 0 0.09. Got Do you it. want to use your one question now or on the CNC setup? I think everything's the same. I would advise you to go through it if you would like to possibly keep $20. All right, go through it. So Tell us what you're doing right there. Yeah, tell us what you're doing. Tell us what you're doing. Start at the top and tell us what you're doing. What? Yeah, start at the top. So what program are you running? Aspire. No, no. But what tool path? Good, what actually. Tool good path? answer, e damn it. The <laughs> car, okay. <laughs> What's your start depth? Zero inches. Why? Because you just said that it should be zero. Okay. At the top of the box. Right? Good. I'm using my, my one free question. All right, we have a question. Woohoo! Right. Yeah, Woo we are needed. All right. I like it when we're needed. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> what is your question, Blake? How what do you think? find the second line? This is an inch and a half. So how how wide is your project? Four and a half inches. Okay. Four and a half. So we are going to replicate your letters. Okay. So. What you see on the screen is roughly this big. This tape measure is, in, this is inch and a half, and that's four and a half inches wide, okay? Following me so far? Okay, there you go, Gramps. So where would you put that at if you were to put it on there? Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> this is exhilarating for me on this end. Oh my gosh. Leave a comment below when you learned woodworking, right? At what age did you start woodworking and start building your own projects? Okay, do you need to ask me a question that costs you $20 or are you confident? You think you're fine. Ooh, started it so confidently. All right, say what? Safe. Move it out of the way. Move it out of the way. You always gotta move it out of the way to admire it first. So Blake, how do you feel about the project? I like it. I've been wanting a domino set because I've been wanting to play dominoes, but Joan and Owen refuse to play with me. Gotcha. Do you think Gramps is a good teacher or a bad teacher? Good teacher. Gramps, do you think he earned this 100 bucks? How much do we charge for the box, Blake? $30. And if we engrave it, how much do we charge? 60 So how much do you get then? You only get 40 <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> Give me my money. Well, guys, let Blake know in the comments if he did a good job. I know for sure. Are you going to be reading them? Yeah. Okay. Blake's definitely gonna be reading the comments. Let him know if he did a good job. If you like seeing young guys like Blake work on a CNC, learn from it. And if an old dog can teach someone new tricks. Thank you so much for watching. And as always guys, remember, everybody ready? Blake, you know how to do it? If you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.